Hello, everyone, and welcome to monde. and welcome to this Et 40 Days Live event. À cet événement en direct de 40 My name is Adele Halliday, and I serve as the Anti-Racism and Equity Lead at the National Office of the United Church of Canada. And it's very good that you're here. This is a bilingual event that is offered in both English and French. So if you were to hover over um, the bottom of your screen, you should see a little globe. If you're able to um, choose the language of your preference, then you will hear the language uh, of your choice throughout this gathering. Uh, this gathering today is with members of the uh, Then Let Us Sing group, and we will be uh, with them today. Uh, uh, they will introduce themselves uh, shortly, and we'll have a time of engagement. Uh, but just to note that this gathering is one of the 40 days, part of the 40 days of engagement on anti-racism, which is a, a program that's been going on for the past several weeks. This is the last live event of the series. It's being recorded, as all other ones were recorded as well, and are available on um, the United Church's YouTube. Um, as well, there have been daily reflections there have been books and lots of resources that have been available on the website. So if you have a chance to explore that, you would be very welcome to. So with that, though, um, I would love to be able to introduce the members of the Then Let Us Sing group um, through a series of questions. There was a panel who will be engaging with us for our time today as we explore the topic of copyright, justice, and musical misappropriation. But first, we will begin with the gathering. Avant, yep. nous allons, uh, Hello, my name is Paul Sales. I'm a member of the uh, Paul Sales. Sales Sing Working Committee. Je, and je suis membre du comité you to our service, our service, our, our evening, our uh, and, uh, à ce uh, rassemblement the ce soir. Si j'ai parlé uh, de service de culte, c'est so que nous avons créé un let's, festival. Uh, let's uh, and et uh, c'est dans ce cadre-là uh, qu'on s'est réunis. Alors, uh, est-ce qu'on peut afficher la prochaine diapositive, uh, Brian, s'il vous plaît? To you, God, our treasured holy mystery, uh, we cannot uh, keep toi, singing. Dieu, uh, notre Mystère, faithful voices, uh, saint, we cannot keep from singing. Chérie, we sing of grace, we sing of God the Spirit, faithful uh, and untamable. Fois, we sing in trust, uh, we sing of God the Christ, grâce, the Holy One embodied. Et, et, uh, we sing hallelujah, we sing of God's mission, we sing of a life beyond life and a future beyond imagination. Uh, Grateful for God's loving action, we cannot keep from singing. Let us sing. 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 Just give you a bit of a background on it. So we'll do this before we sing. Then let us sing is an online music resource that will make most of the hymns from Voices United more voices in the Voices Unie, plus approximately 150 to 200 new hymns and songs available in one digital location and another one copyright license. There will be over 1,200 hymns in all. There will also be a hard copy of some of the new music that people might want to have those songs in a book for you. Uh, uh, the uh, de partition. key word of, of the whole project le mot -clé that we, de tout have, le projet. we seem to keep coming back to is its versatility. The project uh, includes all permissions uh, required to use the music and uh, worship according to your needs, whether that's copying the music out, whether it's printing it for your congregation, whether it's projecting it on a screen, or whether it's live streaming. The project is to pay one, one licensing fee, and that will cover everything. So there's no longer any more money for your worry about whether you have the right to use it in your performance. Si vous avez Le droit de vous en servir dans différents formats. Bon, alors, un autre aspect important de la polyvalence, c'est que comme c'est numérique, nous allons pouvoir ajouter de nouveaux champs. Il ne s'agit pas d'un projet en ponctuel, c'est quelque chose qui va se construire au fil des années. 
au fur et à mesure que nous trouvons de nouvelles musiques que nous allons pouvoir ajouter à la plateforme sans nous soucier de créer un nouveau recueil. Et donc, on va pouvoir répondre aux besoins d'une église en constante mutation. Et c'est également compatible avec gatheringworship.ca. Alors, les gens qui se servent de gathering pour planifier leur culte, quand ils verront des suggestions, s'ils sont euh, 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 abonnés à l'ensemble de chantons, ils pourront aller chercher le cantique et décider s'ils veulent l'utiliser. Et le tour est joué. Je dois dire aussi et reconnaître que nous avons plusieurs partenaires qui travaillent là-dessus avec nous, des partenaires d'entreprise, euh, GIA Publications notamment, OneLicense.net et qui vont nous aider à euh, assurer une juste administration du droit d'auteur et aider les auteurs et les communautés créatrices dans le monde en assurant un accès dynamique au contenu. Ils travaillent ensemble là-dessus et c'est quelque chose d'unique comme relation. Nous avons compris dans notre comité et notre travail à deux partenaires, l'Église unie du Christ aux États-Unis et le Christian Church of Disciples of Christ au Canada. Et nous avons des collaborateurs économiques de l'Église candidate et de l'Église presbytérienne au Canada. Voilà pour le contexte. En quelques mots, nous aurons du temps pour des questions plus tard, si vous voulez nous en poser. Bon, en chantant, nous commençons par un Dieu. Beaucoup de noms. Si vous avez, vous allez pouvoir trouver les noms des le nom du chant et nous allons pouvoir chanter ensemble. Thank you, Paul, for gathering us uh, in song. De nous avoir rassemblé. So now, as we, um, it, it's our time Et for our panel discussion, and uh, um, I'll panel, offer a question for a conversation. Uh, so everyone, can you please question tell us about your role in then let us uh, sing, Brian, and how the anti-racism principles adopted by the Development Committee affect your work, les principes de and what has been one of your biggest learnings? Influence sur votre travail et quelle a été euh, une de vos grandes well, leçons? My name is euh, moi, je pourrais peut-être euh, commencer. Je suis Alidia Smith. Je suis membre du personnel de soutien pour uh, le travail au bureau du Conseil général. I'm aware uh, that the translation uh, booths might be off, so uh, if bon, you are in the English booth, you might not be hearing the right thing at the moment. Bon, so uh, if you si could uh, let Brian anglais, or allez, myself know, uh, I think we might almost be sorted. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, my role is to help support the work of Then Let Us Sing, which is a real privilege and honor to be a part of. My role is to help support the work of Then Let Us Sing, which is a real privilege and honor to be a part of. Anti-racism principles of Then Let Us Sing have been core and foundational to our work, and I'm really proud of that, of how everything we have Everything we're doing is shaped by principles, practices, ideas, and, and theological ethos that we have spent a lot of time and investment in. So it's so well thought through, and I'm really appreciative for that piece of the work. 
Et peut-être que je vais passer du travail. Et j'entends le téléphone de Paul sonner. Je vais peut-être demander à Bruce de parler. Oui, je suis Bruce Harding. Je suis au comité de curation de ce projet. Je suis également éditeur musical pour prendre les décisions que nous faisons et les mettre sur la page imprimée. C'est pour les nouveaux répertoires que nous essayons de créer ou de supplémenter dans notre projet pour donner vie à nos principes en travaillant sur le répertoire de Voice United et Voice United et Voice United. Trying to live into our principles, and when when our hymn books, our statements of where we were at at that time, to try and reimagine them and reinterpret them, challenging and exciting. And who's next? Sure. My name is Becca Whitla, oui, and I teach practical theology at St. Andrew's uh, College in Saskatoon. Um, and, uh, and, uh, but uh, came uh, to my uh, academic uh, interests uh, through uh, singing as a, as uh, a vital, uh, I might uh, say, uh, the vital uh, part of worship. Par and um, uh, uh, I'm, I sit on the uh, uh, Education, uh, Justice, uh, and Ethos uh, Committee uh, of, of this uh, Then Let Us Sing project, and it's been my honor to help shape the, the kind of theological underpinning for the project, which has drawn on um, and tried to define what makes a united church, him who is our united church. So we named all of that in our original document, um, and then uh, and grounded it theologically, sort of, in, in interculturality, in anti-racism, -ra in expansive language, all those good things. And, um, and then did some work with Lydia, and she'll be sharing more about that later, on a, um, a document which is about copyright. And I, I really love the document because it's about relationship. It's about our, how, what's important in, in copying in attention to uh, whose material we use uh, is our relationship with those people. So uh, I'll leave that there for now. Um, but that's uh, who I am. And I'm thrilled Alors, to be here and thrilled to see friends in the room. Je suis. Je suis très content d'être là et de voir des amis dans cette salle virtuelle. I guess I can go next. My name is Paul bon, Sales. Je pourrais peut-être parler maintenant. I'm, Paul Sales I'm, ici. I'm a member, Donc, member of the. Je suis I'm membre. I'm a member of the marketing and animation. De, uh, du comité marketing for, et animation uh, awareness qui est responsable project, de susciter uh, uh, la doctorité du projet, and, uh, de faire de l'éducation autour de du projet. Nous avons for, rédigé for les brochures, nous avons um, choisi um, le all nom the, ensemble so de uh, et nous, nous penchons sur toutes les manières de le promouvoir et de susciter de l'intérêt. À l'heure actuelle, nous travaillons fort pour faire connaître le projet auprès des paroisses et d'autres groupes. Ça a été un plaisir de participer à ce travail. Pour moi, bon, Bon, penser euh, anti-racisme dans mon travail est nouveau, uh, mais we, we quand on regarde les paroles des chants que nous avons chantés, really la right musique word? que nous avons reçue, euh, on regarde le, le texte et on se dit, uh, est-ce qu'il n'y a pas quelque uh, chose là-dedans uh, qui va trahir nos principes ou qui va aller à l'encontre de ce que nous cherchons à faire L'Église est voulue et dans le travail que je fais, euh, ça fait partie d'un processus d'éducation pour que euh, certains groupes euh, comprennent euh, en quoi c'est important pour nous. Et heureusement, on peut, on, nous avons euh, le privilège de pouvoir le faire par la vie. Que c'est quelque chose qui met que tout le monde se met à l'aise. Euh, L'atmosphère est toujours plus détente. Donc, nous chantons, n'est-ce pas Et mon rôle actuel, euh, professionnellement, euh, c'est que je suis un... Euh, musicien d'église 
Oh, right. Thank you, panel members, oh. for introducing yourselves and sharing a bit about Alors, uh, um, merci, uh, the principles and how that affects your work. So for the next question, uh, uh, if some of us, some of among you, you could tell travail. us more about oh, how, how and why copyright is understood as a justice issue. Uh, pourquoi le oh, sorry. Did you want to talk about your, your learning? You're good. Okay. Uh, tell us more about how and why copyright is understood as a justice issue and how does respect I can start off that question. As Becca had mentioned, ça part of, um, uh, Becca de cette is part of the, a the, uh, the Education Justice and Ethos partie, Committee. And the uh, first thing that the Education Justice and Ethos uh, Committee de... did in the height of the pandemic was create a theoretical framework that would guide all of what we did as Ben let us sing. So that would guide Alors, all of our work. In part, de, I'm just going to read a snippet from the theoretical framework sing, because that Chantan really led us to these larger différence. copyright conversations. Cette, in the theoretical framework, we say, a, because we celebrate the image of God in all people and cultures, it is important to acknowledge the origins and creators of Hymns and les, songs, and to pay people royalties for their work. As with more voices, de payer as, more, as with more voices, we noted that questions of copyright are a justice issue. Remuneration donc, on a, for copying needs to get as close to the source as possible. We are aware that dominant pour, cultural uh, voices in uh, the global north have used qui est, and abused uh, the cultural treasures of donc, people from the global abuser, south and those marginalized uh, in the global uh, north. We pledge to work against this reality and, and we wish to iterate notamment, ways to ensure uh, copyright justice here. So du globe, this was part of our theological ethical statement de... grounding the beginnings Donc, of Then Let Us Sing. Uh, and then uh, Becca and myself and Jennifer Jensen Ball, who um, is the executive Jennifer... minister for theology and... Jensen Ball, qui est... <laughs> you, you can correct me group, in the chat uh, for the General Council Office. Uh, uh, got together to general. really unpack uh, what we meant to, by that. So what was our de, own theological uh, understanding of copyright and why was de, this important? And I really loved the conversation that we had there and we realized, nos we realized that our hope Ah, Jennifer, Jennifer Jensen Balls is the Executive Minister for Theology and Leadership. Elle est ministre, uh, and I just, executive for <laughs> theology. I missed something there too, but don't worry, you get the idea. Uh, so yeah. our hope, uh, our hope espoir, with uh, the copyright, but also with avec our hope for then let us sing, et pour chant, was ensemble to chantant, help to build the church we're going to become. So, building our vision of becoming an intercultural church, an anti-racist church, an anti-oppressive church, and an affirming church, we realized that we needed to work with God to create and to model, create a glimpse of God's beloved community. And that kind of rootedness in God's beloved community is what anchored our theological statement. So when we think of the beloved community, we think of a place where things are held in common. Like you think of that church in Acts, right? You think people are holding things in common. You think of a place where every single person is valued and respected and honored for the gifts that they bring. You think of a commitment towards equity, but sustainable equity and mutual relationships, mutual respect. We're changed and transformed by each other. And you think of a community that celebrates and lives into God's vision of a place where everyone thrives and everyone gets abundant life and and in order to get there, there needs to be reparations, there needs to be restoration, there needs to be reconciliation. So all of this came into our copyright statements. And we realized that that's a lot to put into copyright. But copyright, we often think of copyright in the legal sense, but not often in the communal sense or in the moral sense. So we think of copyright legally, which is the... 
d'un point de vue légal, d'un point de vue personnel, de notre façon de reproduire, comment est-ce qu'on peut copier ou réutiliser quelque chose qui ne nous appartient pas. Cependant, nous savons aussi other obligations to think about. So we have Toutes the legal obligations, obligations, but there's also the moral obligations, and there's also the community standards. Euh, légal, and we really dit, wanted people to think about, well, what is going to help us build nous, the beloved community? Sometimes the legal requirements is what's going to do it. une conscience chez les gens de savoir comment on peut créer une communauté où l'on se respecte moralement. Parce qu'il faut comprendre qu'on a des façons d'utiliser, like par exemple, une musique. Il faut que j'ai like tribut. Si moi, je, so je crée quelque chose euh, parce que je suis inspirée, eh bien, il va falloir honorer et puis respecter. Cependant, il y a lieu aussi à une, à une notion différente des droits, des droits d'auteur. Et donc, il faut quand même mettre ça au clair parce que pour so bâtir quelque chose de juste, c'est euh, mettre les règles de comment on va procéder pour travailler ensemble, pour partager the, the les honneurs where the music comes from, realizing that it's so complex and it's qui est dû so aux communautés d'où vient cette musique. Parce que ça peut venir really des plusieurs endroits, ça peut être très différent. Mais il faut payer respect et, euh, et droit. Alors, tout cela nous amène à penser uh, aux coutumes qu'on a développées à travers des notions euh, racistes, euh, tous les ismes, uh, racisme, uh, racisme, sexisme, uh, so, des, des notions sense, qui ont une tendance à opprimer les gens. C'est-à-dire, euh, on a, lorsqu'on pense so, aux droits d'auteur, on pense that the legal euh, à la façon du Nord, so, qu'on a développé au Nord. You might have the Mais right on ne respecte pas les gens du Sud. Et donc, It's 500 years old lorsque and it's on a une chanson morally, qui vient d'une communauté, euh, peut-être euh, qu'une chanson date d'il y a 500 ans ou de plusieurs années, on n'a on n'a pas payé des droits. So, Cependant, du point de vue moral, il faut quand même really euh, rendre to start to hommage so, ou, ou rendre quelque chose à la communauté d'où ça vient. Alors, ce, on a créé donc, ce document qui est en quelque sorte euh, un document qui va donner lieu à des conversations pour que les gens sachent comment on va pouvoir établir des relations justes, comment est-ce qu'on voit le droit d'auteur comme une façon de rendre justice à toutes les personnes de façon universelle. Alors, par exemple, les gens vont venir à comprendre que utiliser, appliquer les droits d'auteur va être quelque chose de naturel et de quelque chose que l'on doit faire. Pourquoi Parce que cela va nous permettre de restaurer les relations qu'on a avec autres. Oui. Moi, je peux parler pendant des heures de ce sujet, mais il va falloir que je m'arrête. Donc, j'aimerais ça ouvrir la conversation pour que Becca et Bruce continuent euh, et, et prennent le flambeau. Alors, c'est ça qu'on veut dire. And justice issue Par exemple, lorsqu'on parle d'une église antiraciste, anti autre pression. Pour moi, je n'avais jamais anticipé combien on pouvait établir des rapports et communiquer avec le comité. This project, this project, we just out euh, qui nous a parlé à un moment donné d'un so projet. Et moi, j'étais euh, ch chargé de, de le promouvoir. Um, really Finalement, là, je me rends compte que 
Euh, Ce n'est pas juste une question de commotion, mais de compréhension du cadre euh, éthique. Par exemple, il faut payer les gens qui composent, qui créent une musique que nous, nous utilisons. Alors, il non seulement il faut payer des droits, mais aussi il faut euh, utiliser, enfin, euh, promouvoir l'endroit d'où ça vient, de quelle communauté, et le mettre dans nos prières, dans nos cultes, etc. Alors, nous avons travaillé avec le comité qui élabore le matériel et nous avons travaillé vraiment euh, de façon euh, très unie. I think I would, um, Il me semble que je, with that's just been said je suis for tout starters. à fait d'accord avec vous. Um, and just Uh, maybe make a connection to uh, the 40 days campaign and the other issues that are present, la de um, and particularly to highlight, um, I kind of don't like the word intersections these days because it gets overused, but I know that that's been a theme that has been discussed. Um, and I think it's really, it really comes to, to the fore when we talk about our worship, our worship and human resources and how we process them um, so we all of the intersections of, of oppressive structures come together as Lydia was just talking about and um, de réunir toutes nos structures me, if, ensemble. If we're focusing on anti-racism, si then what exemple, needs to be named is that um, contre le racisme, that in a avis, sense, um, copyright justice needs to justice, look at uh, the difference between how communities des, and artists get remunerated for their work. And um, I just really want to underscore what Lydia said about um, communities. Like a lot of songs from the Global South exemple, or uh, marginalized communities in the Global du, North, so the predominantly racialized communities, uh, exemple, are held a, by the community. So how do we qui pay qui sont, somebody uh, when there's no uh, artist to pay, which is the sort of um, you know, Western European system for par, appropriately honoring a, a song created? And there's nothing wrong with that, but that's not the only way to do it. One of the things that's really exciting, I think, is that the United Church is working at a way to, to actually take uh, loyalties from the use of songs and pay them to a community rather than to um, um, a particular artist when there's no um, when there's no particular artist name. So, um, and that is it really changes the framework of the conversation. Um, and I, and I'm, I've been um, telling people, like in the Hymn Society and other organizations, about this statement on copyright. And, and I hope somebody might put a link to it because you can get it for free and share it with all your friends. And, and I really think it's a, a really deeply theological and deeply Christian way to look at justice. Et c'est vraiment um, une bonne façon you know, justice for racialized de, people, de justice for marginalized communities, justice for justice artists. Pour les um, it's all pour kind les of artistes, encompassed in there and it has les, this uh, um, communauté um, marginalisée. loving theological um, uh, undergirding that really roots it. And so I, um, I just kind of wanted to make those monde. connections with et other conversations, de um, including conversations uh, around avec conversations. Um, decolonizing, right? What, exemple, what does that mean in in, au sujet with respect de la to um, racial justice and with res respect to um, other kinds of justice and racial, how is it all connected in our practices in tangible ways? So, uh, so we really try to root it theologically but also be practical. And um, I'll, I'm going to talk a little bit more about that um, with some very concrete suggestions for everybody about how we can do that in a little bit. Euh, un peu plus tard, je vais vous en parler. I would just affirm what everyone has said. This is this has been my life's work for the last euh, 20 years moi, or more. Je peux um, vous dire we, que je travaille là-dedans. The More Voices Project 
Uh, Au moins depuis uh, 20 ans, j'ai travaillé avec le projet More so Voices, like, nos voix like, uniques. Et par exemple, il y avait une, une chanson qui venait these, these avec des droits d'auteur, une traduction. So Alors, and, and, uh, uh, release, ça a été canalisé par des corporations so they, aux so États-Unis. Alors, qu'est-ce qu'on a fait On a on avait à ce moment-là, quand, quand je vous parle Church, des uh, Mon Voices, on a fait ce qu'il fallait établir un système pour que les droits d'auteur soient payés. Et, nice et c'est là, ce travail-là nous a aidé pour today. que euh, établir le système issue. qui va gérer like en quelque sorte le projet like, Ensemble like Chantant. Is The, the arrangement and the translation are copyright Walton Music Corporation. And it, the way the American copyright system works when a piece is registered, it's, it's owned by that, whether it's just or not, it's owned by that copyright holder for all time. So those are the issues we're dealing with, trying to, trying to break open a system and find new ways to, to, to be creative and, and support the, the bringing in of the kingdom of God. Créatif pour y faire rentrer le royaume de Dieu. Thank you for that rich sharing about copyright justice. Merci, uh, uh, I'm intrigued by the phrase de, singing justly. En matière de droit so could you tell je us a little bit more de, about de, what, avec that, what this means? And is it another uh, way to look at avoiding cultural misappropriation or is there something more? D'éviter l'appropriation illicite l'appropriation culturelle et licite, ou est-ce que c'est quelque chose de plus I think it's over to me now in our, in our bon, planning that we had yesterday, so bear with moi, me. I'm going to sing a couple songs, and I'm going to ask you to sing, and I'm going to look at your screens while I ask you to sing, and chansons, hope to see some movement. Uh, and, and, um, and, and, and so you, if, 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 I'm going to chat with you for probably 10 or 15 minutes and just puis, get into this bon, a little bit. So the first thing I want to say is that um, this thinking about copyright uh, and anti-racism comes as part of um, an, a larger anti-oppressive agenda, which is clearly articulated by the United Church. So that includes things like gender justice and through, th through expansive and emancipatory language. Uh, it, it includes justice for LG LGBTQ plus communities, affirming uh, a, a commitment to being affirming It de, includes um, uh, a commitment to interculturality. It includes a commitment to justice for people with disabilities. Uh, it includes um, uh, anti-racism uh, commitment. So all of those things are kind of part uh, of what was undergirding uh, the theoethical statement uh, and the copyright work that we did. So I just want to, I can't resist bragging about a couple of songs that are in the sample. So here's one, just a little bit. And if you know what please do sing along or if you catch on to it. This is, um, this is a rethinking of a passage from Luke, chapter 15, verses 8 to 9, about, um, about the widow who is looking uh, for her hidden treasure. So here's, here's how it goes, uh, just a little snippet of it. God lights a lamp and she searches everywhere for the hidden lonely heart. God lights a lamp and she searches everywhere when she finds you oh she sees I have found my treasure My precious silver coin, I have found my love. Even angels will hear the news. What once was lost is So there's just a little bit Alors, of, of voilà, that song. Obviously, un, un imagining 
God in the feminine. Évidemment, on Here's another just one verse un autre of, a, a, of a hymn called Clearly Beloved. Qui s'intitule Clearly Beloved. Clearly Beloved, we have assembled, joining in wonder, singing in praise. So there's another example, uh, and, voilà, and just to point example. that one line, lifting our eyes, that can also be sun lifting our hearts. So I wanted to aussi, just point uh, to some things that are not explicitly anti-racist, bon, but that are wildly uh, and radically inclusive, following in the path of Jesus, inclusive. okay? So just to, to kind of put this work in that bigger context. Jésus, um, all right, let's sing this next song, and then I'll Alors, chat a little about this. Um, et ensuite, this is in, um, in um, More Voices, uh, this beautiful voices, chorus uh, from the voix, Congo. And I, I really uh, hope to see some of you Congo. moving and singing along. Please et, do join uh, me and sing in harmony. I know it's hard to do that on Zoom, bouger. but I swear I can hear you in my mind's eye if you do it. Let's hear it. Maybe some of my family Uh, dans mon imagination. Uh, et peut-être que okay. des membres de ma famille qui sont en train Anyhow, de guiner vont uh, chanter avec moi. So that's Swahili, right? Alors, ça c'est en Swahili. Bon, on va le chanter maintenant en français. So that song Alors, cette, uh, was a beloved song in a community where I worked, and I uh, was working with my son um, on et, a service uh, to thank uh, some caregivers who had been looking uh, after him while he was sick, and he chose this song because uh, he identified it with our community, or it was a heart song of our community. And um, I said, well, don't you think we should sing it in English because people won't know it is Swahili? And he said, no, the song goes Munguni Mwema. That's how the song goes. And so um, what I appreciated about it, and here's there's a connection between language and anti-racism, right? The language of the song is important. And so it's, um, c'est Dieu, c'est, 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 C'est vrai, Dieu est bon, right? C'est vrai, It, Dieu est know bon. that God is good. And Vous I recently was um, bon. privileged to be working with the Western Intercultural uh, Ministry uh, Network, uh, uh, an, um, an organization of uh, ministers uh, and lay folks uh, in the West of Canada. And we uh, sang it in other languages as well. Canadien. Other African nous languages nous were added to the mix. So this is a great song. Find out who your community is, what language they speak, and figure out how to say, know that God is good in multiple languages and sing it, right? Um, I'm just going to uh, um, talk a little bit about what singing justice means. Singing justly, singing with justice means to me. And there are three main points that I want to make. They're all about relationship. And so for me, that's the key. Uh, the first is about context and relationship. The second about accountability. And the third, trans transformation. So here we go. 
Why et would we, and this also Alors, um, deals with the question of cultural uh, misappropriation, so we can't talk about singing justly without dealing with that, and we can't, and we can't um, be an anti-racist church, an intercultural uh, church, an affirming uh, church, uh, all, all of those uh, things, unless we think about what it is uh, we do in worship and how we reflect faisons, that that justice in what we sing. So why would we even sing another song, right? And this, this, uh, I also want to name something else, which is that I um, take this work really seriously as somebody who is racialized as white. I, I have a responsibility um, as a leader to ask really, to interrogate my own methods, to interrogate what I'm doing, to figure out whether I'm doing and singing justly along the way. So so I just want to kind of throw that into the mix as well. That's a lot. So why would we sing another song? Is Are we just doing it because it's entertaining or exotic, a nice rhythm or melody? Or are we actually reflecting a, a liturgical theme or a theological theme, theme in the service? How will the connection be made? So I'm going to ask a bunch of questions and give some answers, but mostly I'm opening up questions for conversation. Will we repeat the song? Do we just do it this one Sunday or will it become like Munguni Mwema did for my son, the community's heart song. Is the song that we sing or the prayer we pray part of a broader attempt to diversify the repertoire of the community? How will it be introduced? Are we learning about the place where the song comes from? Are we including the place and its people in our prayers? It's, it's about, you know, when we introduce the song, I could have, I didn't, because we're kind of having a pattern discussion, but bon, uh, as we sing this song, let's remember the people from the Republic of Congo and lift up their struggles and pray that their, their quest for justice may be met. And, and you know, it could, it could be more than that, but, but there are ways to do it. So um, we can honor the creator, the community from which the song comes and how we introduce a song, perhaps with a prayer, as I just illustrated, or a note in the bulletin. The prayers of the people could specifically specifically name the communities where the song comes from, and we could refer to it in the sermon. So for me, these are all ways of deepening our engagement with what we sing as well. We put songs into our body and they live in us, right? So how can we embody the theology that we're singing and how can we connect it to the rest of worship and the rest of our lives? Okay, so the next level, so that's a first level of kind of honoring where a song comes comes from the people whose song it is. The next level is um, is a, kind of ramps up the accountability by inviting deeper engagements. Are there people in your community from the songs community, either in your congregation or in the surrounding community? What are their heart songs? Can you have conversation? If there are people in your community, what what you know? Find out what their songs are. Could they invite be invited to share? In the leadership of the song. And if there isn't anybody from that community in your um, congregation, can you seek somebody in your surrounding community to come in and, and, and be paid to work with your choir or work with your congregation in the leadership of it? So can you build relationships? then beyond your own church community. Like this is a great way to actually deepen the church's work and build relationships beyond Sunday morning congregations. Then there's transforming relationships. So I believe that if you sing justly, if you take all this work and do it seriously, and it is work, and it's risky work, and it, it requires an ongoing committee, we can be changed. I know that I have been changed by this work. I've been converted, you could say. I've been transformed. So we build relationships with people, both near and far, that are connected with the songs we sing. And then, how can we seek justice for those communities, both, again, locally and nationally and globally? Right? So how do we take it beyond 
Comment our worship and into tangible actions for justice uh, by our communities. Um, and I'm going to stop. Uh, oh, there's a couple more songs I think I'm going to um, just mention briefly, but I want to highlight something that Olivia said about the copyright document. She talked about reparation, restoration, and right relationships. These are the three, the, uh, different three R's, right? <laughs> um, and so... There's, for instance, Alors, in the in in some exemple, parts of the U.S. and perhaps in Canada, there are moves Canada, now uh, by uh, some communities when they sing um, uh, spirituals, black spirituals, uh, to pay wow, a local uh, black community. Since there's no author, um, it, when there's no author who is credited with the song, so that's a kind of move towards reparation, right? So actually, and, and that builds uh, rest, restoring relationships. It also restoration acknowledges the risk. That's another R word, but we might make a mistake. And what happens when you sing a song and a relationship is broken? How can you work at restoring it? And sometimes the stakes can be really high. I, I say that out of my own painful experience of having hurt people by making mistakes. Um, okay, so I think all of this is, is to me, is about the work of being a Christian in community. It's all connected to how we live and how we model the beloved community that Lydia referred to. So just going to talk about these two other little songs. Um, the one is the okay the the one that's on your screen is si el espíritu de dios and i'll just share so this i'm going to sing this in french and invite you to sing along with me quand l'esprit de dieu habite en moi je chante comme david let me hear you in my mind's eye quand l'esprit de dieu habite en moi je chante comme david Je chante, je chante, je chante comme David. Je chante, je chante, je chante comme David. So that's one way of singing this Alors, song. I learned this chanter, song um, from a, communi a community of Spanish chanson. speakers that I was working with. And it went like this. Si el Espíritu de Dios se mueve en mí, yo canto como David. Si el Espíritu de Dios se mueve en mí, yo canto como David. So that is um, a... Um, a different a, has a different rhythm and a different way of singing and i think it points to the fact that we need to be in relationship so wherever the song comes from we need to find uh, folks who can help us learn how to sing it in a way that's authentic the other song i just wanted to mention which you might encounter is um Ducaseo Wang Wang Wiye. My apologies to Korean speakers, and there are some here for my mispronunciation. This is a fabulous song, and there were questions about us including it uh, apparently because of the huge musical range. It's very goes very high and quite low, um, and um, you know has a theology of the throne. But this is a, a fantastic song in multiple languages in. In, in the in the sampler, it's in Korean, uh, Spanish, German, yeah, French, yeah, and um, English. And what's exciting about it is that it, it represents our, the wider global spirit of ecumenism. When I look at the people who translated it, those are people who who are partners and friends of the United Church and who work with the World Council of Churches. So there's a there's relationships woven into the songs themselves and the people that create it. And this song, um, uh, so there's this chorus. Uh, I'm going to do it actually a little. Lower, lower than is written, but Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Holy God of Heaven, Glory, wonder, Wonderful, Mighty God is our Sovereign on high. It's a fantastic song. The God of Glory goes up to the throne. Why do you tremble and why do you fear? 
Our fear, sorry, our hearts and spirits are dancing for joy. God is our sovereign on high. And then there's this great chorus. And it goes on and there's the possibility of drums and of a whole community being engaged. So Et if I was going to do this with this group of us assembled here, if we were all in the same space, I would be running to some of the folks whose whose names I recognize as Korean and asking them to lead it with me. So that, je, je and I would be trying amis, to, uh, learning um, là, to pronounce the words in Korean with them. Um, so those are all the kinds of things you can do to tangibly Et embody je peux vous dire que si je le fais I'm going to stop aussi, vous pouvez le faire. and leave it to somebody else arrêter. to answer the next question, je I think. Je vais à de répondre à quelques-unes de mes ch- euh, questions. Thank you, Becca. Uh, Bruce, Merci, did you Becca. want to answer this question as well, please? Est-ce que vous voulez, uh, um, I would just, well, just affirm everything that question? Becca was saying. I don't need to say too much. Um, Écoutez, aside from you know, the Sing Justly, beaucoup. coming back to the copyright issue Quel again, too, one way to Sing Justly is make sure that we actually print the information with the words. Moi, je Lots dirais qu'il faut imprimer les, les textes you can add avec all your les paroles. At the end of a oui, vous pouvez, par exemple, with, with words à la fin, une mention légale. Vous pouvez mettre saying. ça à la fin du document, so, think, le droit d'auteur. C'est protégé par le droit d'auteur. Mais well is, is an la façon dont on présente la musique et les paroles, elle est aussi importante que... Euh, les droits d'auteur. If I could just add to that, um, my own congregation here in Orleans, uh, uh, um, on se préoccupe sure beaucoup de la façon dont on présente la chanson no qu'on utilise lors d'un culte, mais aussi, and, um, non seulement la, la façon de la présenter, I, I, uh, c'est de non seulement la chanter, mais de parler de la communauté d'où elle est issue cette chanson. Alors, euh, et aussi, il faut parler pourquoi est-ce qu'on fait ce choix-là. Donc, il faut l'introduire, introduire quelques éléments importants euh, qui donnent euh, un cadre à la chanson. Alors, par exemple, si on chante une chanson le dimanche, il faut dire pourquoi, qu'est-ce qu'on célèbre ce dimanche-là, pourquoi est-ce que cette chanson elle est appropriée. Et, et lorsque les gens euh, comprennent mieux le contexte, ils vont s'engager dans la chanson d'une façon différente que s'ils si n'avaient rien été dit à propos de la chanson. Great. Thank you, Paul, and thank you, Bruce. Merci, thank Paul. You, Becca. Merci, Bruce. Merci, uh, Becca. To the next question? Alors, on va aller à la um, question so suivante. Do you have for Quel conseil donneriez-vous aux communautés des fois qui s'efforcent de chanter avec justice? Est-ce que pour, vous pourriez donner euh, quelques exemples? Euh, Quels seraient quelques exemples durant la période de, de vent? I think we're going to give that one to you, Bruce. Bruce, peut-être que vous pourriez nous aider à éclaircir. <laughs> OK. Bien. <laughs> well, Bien. We've, we've done most of this already. On um, a peut-être déjà fait ceci auparavant. So I would just Dans ce qu'on a dit, things, tout simplement, je voudrais euh, euh, mettre en valeur quelques aspects. A song in its original language, to me, Le genre. On aurait une chanson dans sa so, langue originale yes, four est verse, très importante. Oui, c'est vrai. For, uh, si on a une chanson en mandarin, euh, ça va être peut-être like beaucoup plus difficile. So uh, peut-être you, you, que you une chanson comme la celle qui vient d'être chantée. Dans ma paroisse, uh, les gens <laughs> qui chantent apprennent une chanson dans sa langue we originale. Sure that up on screen as well, on, so on, know on what s'assure qu'il y a l'anglais sur un écran pour que les gens comprennent ce qu'ils sont en train de chanter. And that gives meaning uh, to that text. Mais c'est so important uh, que les gens chantent. 
chante dans la langue taking, originale taking a song into et, our et prendre cette chanson-là dans leur cœur, telle qu'elle a été conçue. Really, Parce qu'il y a le ADN culturel et théologique as people, as people et, qui est important. So, et pour nous, c'est important de partager, to, nous les gens de foi, to, to partager that, ces aspects-là. Il faut vraiment um, s'engager saying, avec les gens. C'est comme Becca l'a dit. Who, Essayons de trouver des, du monde dans votre entourage dont la langue who, who say, oh, maternelle et la langue originale de la chanson et de venir à la parole uh, no. pour well, l'apprendre aux gens. Leaders, Alors, nous, en tant And que, to do it with a que sense leaders musicaux, euh, c'est important de dire. Par exemple, okay. We're, si euh, j'ai une chanson en coréen, euh, je vais essayer d'avoir quelqu'un de coréen ou dans la langue des coréens de venir nous aider, pas pour être parfait, and, and to, to mais tout circle. simplement pour sentir you know, say, le goût. Alors, well, euh, si les gens de, de, de l'église viennent so à, à la paroisse ils disent pourquoi you know, est-ce qu'on you know, va chanter dans d'autres langues et on va dire c'est parce que Zimbabwe. On a we sing it in Shona. Uh, du when monde we first de Zimbabwe, on a du monde for de three or four les months coins du monde, et donc on veut chanter pour rendre hommage à cette people. diversité. Et and ça va devenir une Sunday, deuxième nature. Behold, a et alors, un dimanche, quelqu'un du Zimbabwe va venir, et c'est là qu'il est arrivé chez nous, Uh, Quelqu'un de Zimbabwe a dit, vous savez chanter person, ma chanson dans ma langue. Il savait les larmes qui roulaient sur les joues. Et c'est so, très important tout ça. Doing, doing that kind of work of, Faire ce of genre really, de travail, Paul was saying, comme Paul le disait, uh, c'est important, to, uh, to really help important people see que lorsqu'on va présenter une chanson, il you know, faut l'introduire, donner le contexte, oh, energy, tout simplement dire « Ah, oh, on va chanter cette chanson euh, en langue africaine parce qu'il y a beaucoup d'énergie. » Non, il faut quand même prendre le temps de dévoiler le contexte de la chanson. Uh, Bruce, did you want to sing any of the songs that you had? Bruce, est-ce que vous souhaiterez chanter sure, euh, quelques little, chansons? Oui, bien sûr, je vais vous donner euh, un petit échantillonnage. <laughs> je vais prendre ma guitare. It's right next door, thankfully. C'était juste à côté, là. Heureusement. The work of collecting and Le travail curating. de... de collectionner et de, de la curer. Too, you know. really C'est très simple. C'est un privilège parce que ça nous donne l'opportunité d'aller dans plusieurs communautés des de de so, fois, de des églises et nous amène d'un cœur. Il y a une communauté avec laquelle j'ai travaillé, c'était à Winnipeg, le Knox United Church. Et ils sont une communauté euh, des Philippins euh, très importante. Et, et donc, Salama Sayo, c'était une chanson que les gens adoraient. Alors, on a, on a dit, bon, on va essayer de décrire la musique, parce que les gens nous la chantaient comme ça. Et donc, on a, on a écrit la musique, on a fait une vidéo, et, et on a travaillé aussi sur la traduction. Et j'ai travaillé, je peux vous l'avouer, de Google Translate pour la mettre en anglais. Verse and rhyme structure to it. Et j'ai introduit des versets, this, des rimes pour la rendre euh, beaucoup plus souple and, and par rapport à la musique. And made a few suggestions. Et les so gens, really qui, les, kind of process, cette, cette communauté um, des personnes de la Philippine uh, était là et ça a été vraiment une approche Filipino de travail, uh, uh, de collaboration. Well. Et c'était so très important. Well loved, et vraiment, in ils sont adorés. Et c'est un bel exemple de choses qu'on peut faire. We're Alors, still trying to track du fait down the que cette chanson est venue par la traduction orale, 
Uh, on n'a pas, sampler, on connaît pas la, la musique. Assigned, et donc, so qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire uh, par rapport à la, à la, au droit d'auteur? Uh, on essaie de, de, de continuer à faire des recherches, mais really uh, de, de, so. I, 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 so de trouver l'auteur et sinon de donner honorer la communauté avec on n'a pas assigné le lorsque on va utiliser cette chanson on va quand même ramasser des fonds on va les garder et à un moment donné on va le Révertir à la yes, communauté. So copyright, so royalties will be set aside and oui. waiting for. Alors les royautés euh, attendront là pour le verser. So I learned this in the original Tagalog, and of course my Tagalog will be accented, but I, I sing it proudly and and I always seek for correction and <laughs> to grow in my understanding. But I'll sing it for you in the Tagalog and then also in the English. Salamat sa iyo Aking Panginoon Jesus Ako'y inibig mo At inangking lubos Ang tanging alay ko sa iyo aking Ang buhay ko, puso't kaluluwa, hindi makaya na may pagkaluwa. We're waiting for the next page. Mamahaling hiyas ni Gintong Nilukob, ang tanging nadagin, sana ay tanggapin. So a beautiful song Alors, that euh, only comes to us because of spending time in community. Ne, euh, And parce que that's what it's all about. So we're doing our best to reach out to our communities, our various um, groups in the United Church, and, and saying, what, what are your hearts? Dans la and can we bring these in? And we won't manage all of that in this round, but as Paul was saying, then let us sing as a platform we can add to. to. As we go on, tout de suite, so we can mais to do uh, this ensemble chantons est une plateforme que nous allons pouvoir enrichir. Um, J'ai appris well de quelques autres chansons que nous pouvons Santo, 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 rapidement. Santo, 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 And it was en in anglais the voice you need as well with, with dans, French. Uh, so what we have done here is bring it all together uh, into uh, one ici, score. On and we also corrected. Uh, it's uh, it's an inadvertent injustice. 
during the making of Voices United, someone thought it would be kind of nice to flip it into triple time. Uh, and so the song went into the book que bon que in a triple time, six, four kind of a feel. But six, um, quatre, this is a song, it is a folk song from Argentina, and the original folk rhythm that, that the song goes with is, is a double time kind of a rhythm. Un, uh, There's an accompaniment rhythm, it's... And so to, to take the song out of the Alors, original time signature and et de changer um, uh, sa notation um, was a sign of et d'en faire quelque chose for some de différent et d'un so uh, témoigne notamment du respect envers les écriteurs en Argentine. Et on a aussi, les, book, les gens uh, already, connaissent so ça, les harmonies dans le recueil. Ce sont les mêmes harmonies, mais uh, réinterprétées. Santo, Santo, Santo mi corazón te adora, mi corazón te sabe decir, Santo es Dios. So just bringing it back into the original. And this Donc, is this rhythm is how it's published uh, in every other collection uh, I've ever seen. Original. So it also brings et, us into, uh, into line with with other collections. Uh, cela, uh, the other song I wanted to mention briefly, this is the Voices United bon, score for ici, 241, O Sing to Our God. Uh, and yes, if you look down at the bottom of the page, Dieu. you can see si that it's a Brazilian page, folk song, but the original language has been erased uh, in the score. Brazil, it's also in a uh, Don Bell arrangement. And, um, on le trouve dans un arrangement de John Bell et so avec une traduction en anglais. Une des in the choses que nous faisons in dans the sampler, le recueil, là, vous l'avez peut-être vu dans le for us. sampler, um, et c'est Books have always kind of favored the dominant uh, community bon, in terms of how they lay things out. So most of books, because most of the people using dominant, the book are English speakers, uh, bon, they always put English language first. We're putting the original language first. In, uh, in all début. cases, Nous, on, um, in a song like Drink the Sail, um, hymn cas. books tend to publish it uh, bon, with just the uh, phonetic Korean. We are putting uh, the le actual Korean characters in there Korean, because uh, our Korean speakers exemple, nous need to be able to sing it in their original uh, language, uh, so, and then uh, we can Korean sing along with syllables, chanter, so it's the same kind of principle will apply for Cantai au Seigneur, as we sing to our God, should be Cantai au Seigneur. The other thing about this song is it's often done with a lot of life and energy and a fairly quick tempo. But uh, I was working with um, a Brazilian music scholar mais, uh, who was chastising the North American music leadership community de la because the song is, is more like San Zanina from South Africa. Que it's a song of Zanina, asking for God's presence in our midst and celebrating joy in the midst of adversity. Uh, and so traditionally, et, uh, it's a song a lot slower than we tend to do it. Et so I'll just sing a little bit of time. Au Alors, je vais te chanter un cantico euh, novo. Cantico novo. Cantai au Seigneur, un cantico novo. Cantai au Seigneur, un cantico novo. Cantai au Seigneur, un cantico novo. Cantai au Seigneur. So once again, you know, the sense of context, Alors, uh, the amount of work we can do to, aussi, uh, to um, learn the context, the, uh, learn ce on where a song comes from and how it is used in its original context is, is so important. On, and it's, I'm excited uh, to be able to, uh, to bring some of this to, to life on the page in our new collection. And, and yes, it will put those of us who look uh, like me at a disadvantage because there's less English verses on the page intertwined with the music and we can deal with other languages and all of that. But it's, uh, it's about making that page tout cela. accessible to Mais, as many communities uh, as possible plus once, so au plus grand nombre de communautés possible. C'est un travail important. Can, can, can I, I dovetail? Oops, sorry. sorry. Un peu, uh, <laughs> on something that I've that. 
You will need to. There we go. Um, which about language? I just really appreciate you sinking into the question of language, and I, I, I wanted to just share a little anecdote. When, when we, when I worked um, in downtown Toronto with an Anglo, English speaking and Spanish speaking congregation who did their worship together, some of the English speaking uh, folks uh, complained about having to sing so much in Spanish, and there are lots of ways of doing. That. But one of the, th the, the opportunities that I feel like I missed was the opportunity to say to the people who were struggling with singing in Spanish, you know, can you not see this as a um, kind of radical welcoming that has that means you have to work hard like the, the people that you're singing with have to do that work every day because they're functioning in a language that isn't their own and so it's a way of, of, of building in some some kind of educational um uh, opportunity for uh, a, a, a theological reflection about what it means uh, to be um, une in Canada if you're not an English or a French speaker uh, in, in those si contexts. And I mean, the same would be true for um, speaking like as the United Church struggles uh, with how to be a, bon, a, a, also a French speaking uh, denomination, like those are the, 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 the questions that come into play. And so when we sing uh, in another language, we are doing some of the work that some people have to do every hour of every day. And so, I mean, I don't know if it, it's not, it, it's not really necessarily a question of disadvantaging people that look like me and Bruce, but more like writing the balance, you know, kind of, um, so, anyhow, I just really appreciated um, the way that you laid out how the question of language is so connected to the question of um, anti, a commitment to anti racism and to interculturality like those are all deeply connected and it, I could also just raise a practical thing too. Like, I mean, as, as I said, we put the Spanish for a song up on screen, we'll have the English as well. And I know there are people in my community who, who, who will just shut down entirely rather than sing in Spanish. And so I say, please, try and sing in Spanish. Do your best. But if it is such a barrier for you that you can no longer worship, sing in English while we're singing in Spanish. Multilingual singing is a beautiful thing because it reflects the fact that we are diverse, so we're not about creating uh, barriers, it is about opportunities. And yes, I think one of the most uh, important uh, things we can ever do is, oui, is experience worship as a newcomer, as an outsider as well, to, to go somewhere where you, <laughs> you don't know the language or you barely know the language and, and see how that feels to be on the outside trying to, to understand. So that's, that's part of, you're right, that's part of what we can do by doing this, is helping people see that you know, the way they've always done worship isn't necessarily the only way. La seule façon de célébrer. Thank you. So our last question for the panel and Merci for everyone to respond to. Pour le panel, uh, what is your hope for the anti-racism uh, work within Then Let Us Sing? Le, le, and where would you like to see this work in five years' time? Et où est-ce que vous aimeriez que nous soyons rendus dans cinq ans? I can start with that one. <laughs> Moi, je <pourrais> <laughs> um, commencer. I have a lot of hopes for then let us sing in the anti-racism work pour, of the church, uh, but what I have learned from being a part of this amazing community that I like to brag is bigger than General Council. Executive. Like, there's a lot of us working on this together, and we have committed to do it as a team, which is beautiful. And the way that we have been able to model the struggle of it all, I think, is beautiful, and what I do hope for the rest of the church. There's been a real um, grace and appreciation for the gifts that people bring, and a real grace when 
when we go through various phases of COVID fog, when our minds slip, when life happens, when we get something wrong, we've been able to say, oh, we can do better, and then we correct it. And I think the grace of knowing that we can't do all of it, we can't even do half of it, but we're going to do our best. And we're going to and we're going to try and pave the road. Like we're going to do the absolute best that we can, and we're going to try and make it easier for the next group of people coming. I hope that that's something that all churches and all of us can continue to do. Like I love the modeling of we're not out to fix it. We're not out to be saviors. We're out to help to help us become something better. We're out to kind of do the kingdom work and. I hope that for the church, and I hope that for the committee, and I, I think that that ethos and mindset of honoring each other and doing the best that we can with what we got when we got it is a beautiful thing that I hope will continue. And then let us sing five years from now and ten years from now. There's something really beautiful about a dynamic online platform. When we see that it's wrong, we can just be like, Oh, okay. Let's just change it. Like, uh, we don't need to reprint bon, a book. We just need to learn. And when we know better, we do better. And that's a beautiful thing. And I hope that we can model that as a church that the way that I don't want to use the pivot word because that became a very bad word in two thousand twenty two. But I hope that we don't. I don't want to use the pivot word because that became a very bad word in two thousand twenty two. That we don't want to repeat. But like, how we are able to change when we learn something and the. We've, I, I feel like as the committee, we have lost some of that defensiveness that I often experience from doing anti-racism work in other environments, and I really value that, and I hope that we can help the church in other areas kind of lose that defensiveness and kind of have that humility of like, oh, dang, that's not great, and how can we change it? Yeah, I would I would echo all of that, Olivia. Just say tout à fait what you're saying, about this being the framework that we have created, that we can keep adding to, un cadre that we can keep correcting. Dans lequel Because, on yeah, peut we won't get everything right. Ajouter, we won't have. We won't have. We won't have. So on to be able to add a new language when parfait, somebody comes up with a new translation, we have qu peut 63 faire? languages Ajouter with Nguni Mwema. <laughs> in the long run and those kinds of things uh, really excite me the fact that this is uh, this is a platform me... to be expanded on in future It's, and it's true, books do freeze things. It's in your book, it's printed that way, and we're stuck with it that way, unless you put out a new book. So that's one of the, the beauties of, of this platform. And I should say for people who currently, we only really have budget and time, etc., to do a single score for every song. But in the long run, there can be additional scores, so ones that, that might favor a certain language group to make it easier for them to learn it. Ones that have cable longue, chords, simple cable chords for guitar players, those kinds of things. So that, that will all be in the future. And once again, it's, it's thanks to being a, a, a platform rather than a book. Et ça, c'est du fait qu'on a une plateforme au lieu d'avoir quelque chose d'imprimé. I guess succinctly, like I just, I, I believe in the power of song to be transformative. I fundamentally believe in it. And I believe that singing not only can uh, can release transformative energy, but it, it is it has power. And and because of that, my, my, I'm going to go all lofty. And Et just say that I hope that, ça, that this project of, of Then Let Us Sing and the commitment to embody the values and the ethos of the United Church will actually transform the church so that, so that there'll be people in leadership, more people in leadership that look like Olivia and Adele and, uh, and, uh, um, and other people who are in the room today and that people who look like me will, sure, still be involved in leadership, but make some room and step aside and, and let other voices sing about justice. So that would be, that would be, that's a treasured and risky and vulnerable hope that I have. Pour être incarné justement ce qui est l'Église à ce niveau-là.
Yeah, there I'm back on. Uh, yeah, I, I, I Je agree with uh, what's, suis been, tout what's à fait been said by the other three. And I, I think to me, um, en ce qui me uh, concerne, seeing the church in five years that where we no longer ici, ans, resist singing um, qui music that is in a foreign language, for example, or, or throws images at us that we find difficult. Or we find difficult to understand why we should sing a certain way. Or, or, to have a where, pourquoi um, on doit chanter d'une certaine façon. That's past us, and now Je as congregations and as a denomination, we are. Du passé. Um, Nos paroisses à l'avenir vont grandir. We've grown and, and, and ready to embrace vont, the changes we need to make. Uh, grandir, elles vont. No brainers. Euh, you know, sort of. Elles vont avoir um, profité, bénéficié de yeah, cette façon that, that de partager fact, et d'être habité are, par l'Esprit. Et c'est comme ça qu'on est, c'est comme ça qu'on va chanter. Et, et comment est-ce qu'on va appliquer l'éthique à tout niveau Pourquoi Parce qu'on sera et on est l'Église qu'on souhaite devenir. Et je pense que d'ici cinq ans, on y arrivera. Et c'est quelque chose de fantastique. So, Donc, I see now that it is 20 after eight, je and vois qu'il est slide has come up, 20, which means we should be closing. Uh, 8 h 20 um, déjà, so I'm going to bientôt we, we have a close point with a prayer. We still have a couple of things to sing. Avec une prière. And, um, We're going to share this prayer. It, it came from Becca. It came to us Cette yesterday, uh, and uh, I'd like to, us to pray this together. Becca. And then On we're going to sing ensemble. a paraphrase of the Lord's Prayer in French from Et a composer in Quebec named Lambert. He's written a beautiful paraphrase of the Lord's Prayer that I'm sure you'll appreciate. Well, that'll be one of our closing songs. Et ce sera Please join me as we pray. Chansons. Tender and uh, compassionate God. Dieu de tendresse et de compassion, dont voix, dont la voix de justice et partout dans la création. Aide-nous à chanter avec justice. Sois avec nous, avec nos les corps, de nos corps, pour que la joie de prier et de te bonne gloire soit avec nous. Tisse avec nous. So that I am ready, we are ready to welcome the tender, subversive, and justice-seeking breath of the Holy Spirit. À donner la bienvenue Convert us à to another song, another way of singing, la justice, that our singing might become a practice of liberation, le, a cry for justice, a celebration Dieu. of life. Convertis-nous In the name of God the singer, Jesus the song, and Dieu, the Holy Spirit who sings. Je suis la chanson et l'esprit du... Qui chante. Amen. So I'm going to introduce to you the Alors, je vais Lord's Prayer, Notre Père, Notre Mère, by Lambert from Notre Quebec. Père, and Notre I, Mère, I my de Lambert. Original sound on. I hope it je is vais la chanter. Right. It's not echoing. Nope. J'espère okay. qu'il n'y aura pas d'écho, oui. I actually have the accompaniment. I was in touch with uh, Lambert because uh, the congregation wanted to introduce this before the sample was actually released. So I contacted him personally and he was very generous and gracious and even sent me this piano accompaniment that he was uh, he wrote himself the so, de l'accompagnement. Alors voilà, je vais m'en servir. Tu es glorifié, et 
Amen. Amen. Thank you to Olivia, Becca, Merci Bruce, Lydia, and Paul, Becca, Bruce, and to Paul, the entire Then Let Us Sing team. Um, thank you all for your engagement this chantant. evening uh, Merci and for leading us in this very thoughtful, prayerful time of reflection and challenge. We're deeply, deeply grateful. As noted, this is the last event for the 40 days of engagement Alors, on anti-racism. It's recorded. Um, past recordings are all available on YouTube. So you're welcome to flip through those um, and share them more widely. If you have additional questions about Then Let Us Sing, um, you're welcome to email my staff colleague, Olivia. Her email is in the chat, smith at united uh, She will receive your questions. As well, um, Lydia has a few more closing words, but when you do press the leave button from this gathering time, um, there'll be a very short Alors, feedback survey that appears. Um, uh, please, if you can take a few minutes to fill that out, that would be great. Um, we would love to hear from you. So thanks again for being here, and um, over to you, Lydia. Uh, thank you. I don't actually have any other closing words, except, en of fait, course, if you have any questions about Then Let Us Sing, please do reach out. If you go to the Then Let Us Sing website, the first thing that will happen, it will be sign up for our newsletter. We won't spam you. Every six weeks or so, we'll send you pertinent information. And I wonder, Becca, do you feel like singing us out? or qui sort tous les six mois. Uh, et sure, I can. Yeah. I see Deborah smiling at me in the middle of the room. Hi, Deborah <laughs> from BC. Um, anyhow, this is a song that she knows, so I expect to see you dancing. Uh, I learned this song from a choir of hotel workers in downtown Toronto, and I sing it to honor them um, and to remember all the times on the picket line and at demonstrations um, when we sang this song. And I share it with you now. The words are on the day of Pentecost, fire fall on me, fire, fire, fire. That's it. Like it's pretty, pretty easy. And it's um, I'll just put the original sound on. It goes like this. I'm going to sing a line, you sing it back. On the day of Pentecost, fire fall on me. Okay, I want to hear you sing it. You ready? On the day of Pentecost, fire fall on me. The second line is like this, and that's it. Fire, 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 fall on me. Okay, now I want to hear you. Fire, 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 fall on me. 
And that's the whole song. So let's just sing it through a couple of times. And Alors chantons là au moins deux trois fois. Wish you rhythm and life Et je and joy vous in the rest le, of your evening. On the day la of Pentecost, votre fire fall plus. on me. On the day of Pentecost, fire fall on me. Fire, fire, fire. Fire fall on me. Fire, fire, fire. Fire fall on me. You can screen dance too. On the day of Pentecost, ah, fire fall on marche. me. Yes, I love it. On the day of Pentecost, Fire fall on me, fire, 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 fire fall on me, fire, 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 fire fall on me. One more time. On the day of Pentecost, fire fall on me, on the day of Pentecost, fire fall on me, fire, 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 fire fall on me. Fantastic. We should sing that for about half an hour. That would be the way Alors, to do it, right? Une fois qu'on l'aura chanté une demi-heure, vous allez Blessings, voir. Blessings, everyone. Ça réchauffe le cœur. Bénédiction à vous tous et toutes.